Hello fellow developers and welcome back to another video. Today I want to share some of my experiences and how I got started with Flutter and Dart. Also if you like this video may consider subscribing and liking this video because it would really help me to continue making more videos like this one. If you don't know what Flutter is I'm just going to quickly explain what Flutter is because it's a framework as well as an SDK and it's based on the programming language Dart, which is just another one of those C-style languages and it even reminds me of JavaScript. Also, both Flutter and Dart are developed by Google and the even more great thing about Dart is that it can be used for web, Android as well as iOS applications at the same time, so it compiles automatically for different platforms. So, of course, Flutter uses that, so you can build one app for iOS and Android inside of Flutter, so you don't have to use two teams which build two applications uh, for Android and as iOS once, and but you can just have one team which builds an app. So that really is a great advantage. But now let's get started. The first challenge I faced was that I have actually never written one line of code in Dart. So I started watching many hours of beginner Dart tutorials, which might have been a mistake because Dart is not too hard to learn if you have already had experiences with, for example, Java, C Sharp or JavaScript. So right after that I watched many hours of Flutter tutorials and I'm just gonna link a few of them in the video description as well as the other resources I'm mentioning when learning Flutter and Dart. The next step for me was just to start setting up my development environment using a Flutter tutorial and start programming. Of course I really had no idea what to do, so I basically just followed some example projects by Google and some articles on Medium and those already helped me to understand the basic structure of the Flutter framework because Flutter uses uh, widgets which you can maybe think of HTML components like div containers and basically it uses this kind of tree structure so you can um, nest objects inside of other objects and therefore build your app inside of that. And what I'm currently doing is to look at app designs from the internet and then try to redesign the same app in Flutter. This actually helps me to understand the widget structure in Flutter because before that I wasn't really sure what I'm doing but now I'm kind of better in UI design actually and I also understand how to use the UI in Flutter. Uh, the widget catalog of Flutter in a video description and also that's a great advantage of Flutter because Flutter is so well documented. And so that actually really is it for this video. I know it's not a long one but next week will be a bit of a bigger one because I will probably present one of my projects to you and how to recreate it. And I hope you got some inspiration and start maybe start learning Flutter. So till then, see you in the next one.